Hi everyone, let's call this like the first video that I'm gonna do from kind of like me thinking about the fact that I was gonna quit this whole thing. Um, this isn't gonna happen now because I've actually probably made one of the best sets I've ever done and uh, I'm really pleased of it. So today's the day where I'm gonna show you in its all its glory and sort of right before I start shooting it. So this here is like another sort of level that I've done for this Doom film. And it's basically, if you look down here, it's got real water and I've got some pumps, like some fish pumps that I've used um, to make the water bubble, just to make it look like it's moving. Because if you've got water that is just flat and glass looking, it's just not going to look amazing. So I wanted to make it look like it's real water and add some depth to it as well by putting some stones at the bottom. I don't know if you can see those pumps. Um, there will be a bit where I dip it in like that. I'm not sure quite how I'm going to do it, but I'm, I want to show that it's water. So I will dip it in. And... I've actually got this, This you can't see it, but I've, I've bought this like selfie to sticks type thing, which can fold and bend and stuff. So that's really gonna help for some of these scenes. So today what I wanna do is go through this level like this, and I'm gonna bend the camera up like this. Sorry, excuse my hand. Bend it up like that. And I'm gonna see how it goes through and how it's gonna look. And I suppose you will come with me in this journey. Now I've also got this as well. This is a vape pen. Um, and I'm going to probably blow smoke underneath here and then we're going to travel through which will blow us past, us past the smoke. Now I've got a bit of green up there so I'm probably going to have to tilt the camera down like that. There we go. That looks better. Okay. So first things first, let's give this a go. We're shooting on f uh, 5k I think it is. So it should look quite good. Also um, we're shooting at 24 frames a second which is kind of movie quality frame rate. Frame rate. Already that looks great. I mean, this GoPro passes straight through that and it looks good. We're gonna do the jump over there. So let's do add a bit of smoke. I mean, ideally it might be easier for me to pull it back like that. I mean, that looks good. It's quite difficult because the GoPro on this selfie stick, it does bubble around a little bit. So, and I've got the stabilized, one of the things that with GoPro they're, they're bragging about at the moment is the stabilization mode. So how's stabilization look? Let me just blow some smoke. How does that look? I don't know. Let's try that again. The screen decided to turn off as soon as I got moving. Let's try again. Let's try again. Okay, I'm gonna blow some smoke. A bit wobbly, I think. A bit wobbly. Um, we're gonna try again. Let me fold this up a little bit, like that. And that might give me a bit more but then again, I want to sort of have it down like this. Excuse my excuses. I don't know how insane this is to watch, but um, okay, that looked quite good. Let's tilt the camera down a bit more. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Let's do some shots of looking around. I'll get some smoke as well. I think you can see a wire in there. I'm gonna to have to get some more stones and cover it up. But I think this is looking pretty good. This thing is tasting horrible, so I think it's on its way out. Oh, that tasted disgusting then. Okay, looking good. Um, so yes, that is my new set. Um, 
sorry, I feel like um, I've done enough shooting now. Um, I'm going to come back with my Fuji X-T4 and see how that looks and maybe do a lover update video and stuff. But this is just kind of like, I just wanted to show this off to you because I'm really proud of this and I really feel like I'm going in the right direction now with this sort of filming. I definitely feel like I've got myself back. I've got myself back into this creative thinking, this, this sort of... Uh, the, the desire to make this Doom film. Now I want to explain a little bit more about what it cost to make this, basically. Um, this is all just the textures that I had to Photoshop and stick on the walls. Initially before it all started rippling, where um, I stuck it down. So what I've done is I put where it rippled, I, I've stuck bits over the top of that, and then I threw mud over and a bit of PVA glue and made it look a bit more rough and ready, can you see? Also on here as well, just to make it look a bit more realistic. And down here as well, I threw mud around and stuff like that, just to give it that sort of realistic look. The um, the water pumps are doing their thing, they're doing all right, but I think, yes, we will need to put some more stones in here and uh, just get rid of that wire, because I'm sure that's gonna p appear quite a lot when, you, when I play this back. Also, I'm gonna put some mud on this as well, because that there really stands out. Um, when I play this back, I'll get a better idea of what I need to do, I think. Because I'm, this shot is going to last probably about like six seconds. It's not going to be a very long shot. Um, but I want it to be perfect. And as soon as this is done, I cannot wait to get rid of this. I can't wait to take all this down, use this for Warhammer maybe or something like that. And uh, start on the next set, which would be this thing here. Now, this is the Unholy Cathedral. Now, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to shoot this. I haven't actually painted inside, so this is going to be like an external shot to some degree. And you're going to walk past this thing, maybe go inside, and then I can sort of film another set inside or something like that. I don't know, but um, that would be the next shot. I've also got other bits down here as well that I still need to paint. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do, a hell of a lot to do. And the way I'm going, I, I think this, is, this project is going to take me years and years and years to make. I, I don't know how how long, but uh, the, the fact of the matter is, is there isn't a time limit on this. I want to sort of make this and, and spend as much time as I can making this thing because it's a lot of fun. So I'll leave the, that, the video there. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll keep you updated and I'll see you once again for more Games Made of Cardboard and Crazy Adventures. Goodbye. Just a shout out to my patrons, the Soldiers of Cardboard, and also the Captains of Cardboard, Andrew Reisikos, Michael Heinisch, Ricardo, Ryan Bean, Paul Keward, Luke Cummings, and Mechamaster. And also, we have the Commander of Cardboard, Flying Torpedo Whale. And finally, the Gods of Cardboard, Me Machine Dean, Michael Seguero, and Danny Lugo. Thank you so much, guys.